Hello my dear student. Again we come back the atom structure. With different parts in this chapter we discussed. But here the new person that we bring for you that is Thomson atomic model. It is very well known plum pudding model. Do you know student in this atomic theory suggested that an atom is indivisible? Later on this concept was discarded due to the discovery of electron and protons. The electrical neutrality of the atoms proves that there are equal number of the electrons and protons. But the question that how these are arranged in an atom led many scientists to propose different atomic models. The model describing the arrangement of the different subatomic particles in an atom are called the atomic model. The first atomic model was given by J.J. Thomson. Right student, let we understand the Thomson atomic model. The model of atom by J.J. Thomson is also known as the plum pudding model of atom or watermelon model of atom. According to this model, number one, an atom is considered as positively charged sphere because positive charge is uniformly distributed. Number two, the electrons are embedded in this positive charge sphere. Number three, in an atom, the total positive charge is equal to the total negative charge to maintain the electrical neutrality. Right student? Now we compare with plum pudding. J.J. Thompson compared the atoms with the Christmas pudding in which the dry fruits present the electrons and the whole pudding as positively charged atom. In this diagram that you observe here. Now comparison with watermelon. He also compared the atom with a watermelon that you observe in the Thomson model resemble watermelon. The red edible parts of the watermelon represent the positive charge in which the electron are embedded just like the seeds in the watermelon. J.J. Thomson he worked on the atomic model and we learn lot of things from this atomic model but J.J. Thompson also failure and we conclude some limitation of this J.J. Thompson atomic model. Thompson explained the electrically neutral nature of the atoms but there are some limitation which are as follows. Number one limitation we could not explain the Rutherford alpha particle experiment. Number two, we could not explain the spectral properties of atom. Number three, we could not give any experimental support to this model. This model of atom was rejected by other scientists as it lacked any experimental support. However, the prediction of the electrical neutrality of atom was accepted and found to be a valuable contribution. Right? So, J.J. Thompson, one of the most great scientists who give the concept about the atom more. Right, student? So, here this we understand Thomson atomic model like a plum pudding and the watermelon model. I hope you understand this portion very clearly and you enjoy this class. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.